typically in a web page, if you submit a form, the whole page is refreshed. With a web app, we don't want a refresh of the page, but we do want to see a response to what we're doing. So in our web application, we're using a technique that allows us to send data to the server and update the page contents without refreshing the whole page. We want our web app to be able to work without a permanent connection to the internet so that it can work offline. We want it to be able to store data locally. And the traditional method of submitting a form and updating a web page wouldn't work in this situation. We're going to use a method known as Ajax, and we're going to make use of a JavaScript library that makes this straightforward. I've uploaded the full set of files for this section to a folder on the server. I'm running demo dynamic app.php and this is the page that is displayed. It is linked to appscript demo.js, which is shown here. We're also linking to jQuery, both jQuery mobile and jQuery standard. We've also linked to moment.js which we're using to produce the date and time. The form displayed here doesn't have an action. It has a name and an ID and three input fields. The button here, add new user, is this button with the class activity button and the ID of my test. In our JavaScript, we have set an action for the class activity button on click to collect the ID of the button that was clicked. It's collecting the date at that moment in the format set here. It's collecting the time at the format set here. It is serializing the data from ID my form. So here's ID my form. So the data from the form is serialized. We're setting a variable that contains this form data. We're logging it to the console. We're appending to the div with an ID of show save. Here's the div show save. Show results of save here. And initially it says this is not yet saved. Our Ajax call is of type post and is sent to the URL demo underscore ajax.php on the server. The data is all data, which is this variable that we created here. If it's successful in sending this data to the server, it'll update the show save div by appending saved the status message that comes back from the function sending to the server plus data. Main content will be emptied and appended with a heading that says main content updated and console log done. The data here is data from the success function. If we test this out, we can place some data in our form. Test one, test two, test three. We will now click the button, add new user. Main content updated, saved success. The data returned from the server in response to the Ajax is being inserted here. So this is the end of data returned from the server. It has been inserted into the div show save, saved status and the data and the div main content updated, main content updated here. When we click the button add new user, this calls our JavaScript function 
and this results in an Ajax call to this script on the server. We're now looking at this demo ajax.php, extracting the data from the post, opening our database, encrypting the password with the PHP built-in function password hash, creating an SQL statement to insert or replace into people, username, hash pass, and real name, the values of username, hash pass, and real name. This is how we set up the prepared parameters. We now need to bind each of these to the actual data. So we have a separate bind value statement for each of these items. So username bound to our web data username, hash pass bound to encrypt password, and real name bound to web data real name. We then execute our statement, and in this case, we're dumping the results and then echoing this is the end of the data returned from the server. Note that we're checking that our array key exists. We've got a username before we save this data into the database. The important point here, we're using a prepared statement for our SQLite instruction and it is not the same as the prepared statement that we would use for MySQL or MariaDB.